Today's gadgets are smaller, thinner, and lighter than ever before. But to build these ultra-slim, ultra-portable devices, designers and engineers often make their creations more difficult, if not impossible, to repair. Well, I'm Bill Detweiler, and on this special episode of Cracking Open, I'm going to show you five ways manufacturers are making our gadgets harder to fix and give you a few tips on working around these self-repair roadblocks. Our first self-repair roadblock isn't new or unique to computers and mobile gadgets, but tamper-resistant screws are popping up on more and more devices. Nintendo used tri-wing screws on the Wii and GameCube. Sony used special security Torx screws on the slimline PS3. And Apple uses pentalobe screws on the iPhone, MacBook Air, and Retina MacBook Pro. Now, luckily, our first roadblock is also the easiest to overcome. With a little online research, you can buy a driver or bit to handle any of these screws. Unfortunately, some manufacturers are abandoning screws altogether, choosing to glue components in place. And that's our second roadblock. Whether it's the iPad's front panel, the Galaxy S3's ribbon cables, or the Retina MacBook Pro's battery, removing glued-on components can be difficult and risky. And it's best not to remove a working component that's glued in place. If you absolutely must do so, heat can sometimes help weaken the adhesive, but should be used very carefully. If glued-on components weren't enough, Today's gadgets are also filled with tiny, very fragile connectors. Whether it's a board-to-board -board connector or a flexible, flat cable connector, today's tablets and smartphones are filled with them. The keys to working around this roadblock are a little patience, a light touch, and a few really thin tools. Up to now, I've been able to help you overcome the repair roadblocks on our list. But the last two aren't so easy to work around. At number four, is a roadblock that manufacturers are using less frequently, but that still pops up from time to time. Batteries that are soldered to the motherboard. Favored by some tablet and smartphone manufacturers, there's no way to replace a battery like this without breaking out the soldering iron or wire cutters. Replacing a soldered battery is definitely one of the more difficult do-it-yourself repairs. Lastly, there's one repair roadblock that's almost impossible to overcome. And unlike soldered batteries, device manufacturers are actually using it more frequently. It's a fused front panel and display assembly. Whether it's the Apple iPhone or Google Nexus 7, a fused front panel and display assembly makes repairs more expensive. Because if one component breaks, you need to replace both. And while it's sometimes possible to separate the two components, you often risk damaging the working half in the process. So often, it's just not worth the risk. Well, that does it for our list of repair roadblocks. I hope my tips help you the next time you need to fix a broken device. Now, to see more step-by-step -step teardown galleries and my analysis of the latest tech hardware, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. I'm Bill Detweiler. Thanks for watching.